spiritualist circle of light. I'm going to share a little bit with you from a book entitled Creation by Design. And it's all about the law of attraction. It talks about some ideas about what it could be. It talks about how you can how you can work it, how you can attract in a manner of speaking. It also talks about some of the things that you may be attracting. And what it shares with you is that random thoughts do not generate enough energy to attract events. We are always being told that we attract everything that happens to us. Which is probably true to an extent, but more than likely it is we who are being attracted. We are attracted to events. You were attracted to click on this video to check it out for whatever reason, whatever was going through your mind, but it was an attraction. It attracted you to it. We are attracted to events. And I think it was Paul Kammerer, and I believe I read this in Synchronicity, a book that was published in the 90s, I believe. But one of the contributors, well, yeah, I could say contributors, one of the people that the authors wrote about, and I think it was Paul Kammerer, had suggested that it's not the characteristics that we have in common, the likes and dislikes that we have in common that bring us together. It is the experiences, the events, the similar events that we have attended. I call them reference points, but that's what brings us together. So it's not our thoughts, random thoughts, that attracts anything towards us or moves us towards anything that causes, allows something to latch on to us and draw them. To. It's not those random thoughts. It is our overall disposition, our overall lifestyle, our overall intention. And not only does it draw stuff to us, but it pushes stuff away too. Because for an attraction to occur, there must be both the attraction itself and the repulsion. And repulsion is pushing out what is not harmonious with what, what is drawing us. So something to keep in mind. It's If you are of the opinion that you attract, that's okay. I don't want to tell you it's wrong or anything. That's okay. But the one thing you have to keep in mind is that if you are attracting something towards you, you are also pushing something away. The strength of a magnet is not measured by its ability to draw things to it, but by its ability to push things away. It's something to keep in mind with this whole idea of the law of attraction is that not only do you draw things to you, you push things away. And it's your ideas, events, and such. We call it free will. So we are attracted to events. And if we are attracted to events, we also attract events towards us. Think about this. You're standing in line. We all stand in line. You strike up a conversation with a stranger. We all do that. We've all done it. And typically, you will get into these conversations that the two of you have in common. Now, something to think about here. Did you attract that person to you? If you were in line first, 
did you attract that person to come into the line behind you? Or, or did the person in front of you attract you to them? Hmm. We think about this. And now nah, we're not going to go with that. That's just the way we think. We're not. No, we're not, no, I can't believe that. We like this whole idea of randomness. And what random does is random is involved in events. Everything is about events. It's not about objects. It's about events. When was the last time you saw your boyfriend or girlfriend? Well, typically, you're going to think of an event. Some activity. Activities are events. So, that's what's doing the drawing, the attracting, the repulsion. We, some of us, like to experiment with chemicals, you know, marijuana, cocaine, booze. Where do we go for that? We don't we don't just order it. Well, we can with 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 the the marijuana now that it's legal in some states. And if we are getting stoned per se by ourselves, and chances are there's something, you know, that's off balance with ourselves. But typically, typically we will go someplace. We'll go to a bar for booze. We'll go hang out with friends for the other stuff. You know, we don't typically do these things by ourselves. Because, well, let's face it, they're just not fun by ourselves. So we do this with a group, with a friend. There was a gal who would come around, like some adult attention, and... She would come around, and when she came around, she brought her marijuana. And we would smoke a little bit together, because it's more fun than smoking it by yourself. You smoke it by yourself, what are you going to do? You just end up, uh, nah, it's no fun. So, we go where there's people. We have fun with people. So, it's the event that draws us someplace, not the people, but the event. So if you think you are attracting different kinds of people, the wrong kind of people, if you, if you adhere to that, then here's a little thing to keep in mind. Okay. Here's a little thing to keep in mind. What's going on? Hmm? If you keep meeting the wrong person, chances are you're in the wrong place. If you're not meeting anybody at all, chances are you're not going anywhere at all either. You have your role that you play in it. But everything is an event. Nature is, well... The natural principle of life is activity. There is nothing in all of creation that does not move. Science has demonstrated that. Everything vibrates at different speeds. And everything that vibrates is also part of something larger. A resonance, a chord, music. When you listen to music, several notes make a chord. They harmonize. And anything that doesn't harmonize with that just doesn't fit. If you're listening to good music and you hear a note that just doesn't fit, it's disrupting. Because the resonance is no longer there. And when we go to places, the atmosphere, oh, we go for the atmosphere. Well, that's, that's a resonance. That's a morphic resonance. And it's composed of everybody, everything 
all that is there. They come together and they form a resonant. You step into a room and you feel something about the room. There's a resonance there. You have someone sitting next to you. They feel kind of slimy. Well, that's because they don't resonate with you for whatever reason. So it's not the people. It's the environment, the activity. It's what's happening. This is how this, this law of attraction works. It's something for you to keep in mind. And... If you like this little bit of information, like the video, check out our channel, subscribe, visit our website. We've got lots of stuff available. Check out, kind, you know, follow our Facebook page as well. We have daily inspirations there. Little bitty tidbits that I pair up with these images to create memes it's all from the different material that i read so thank you for joining me briefly i hope this was of use and be mindful of where you're going because it's drawing you forward <laughs>